Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, ooh, I'm a, oof, flirty, fun, okay. Today's video is a review and demo on a new mascara that I recently got from Lise Watier. This is the first time I'm ever trying this brand, so pretty exciting. So we are doing a full demo and review on this mascara right here. This is the V Element Volcanic Minerals Mascara. I talked to you guys about this on Instagram stories. If you're not following me over there, be sure to go follow me. I do a lot of unboxings on PR packages and this was one of them. So first, thank you so much to Lise Watier for sending this to me. Very, very cool. Thank you guys so much. This is the first time I'm trying anything from them. So very exciting. But I asked you guys if you wanted me to review this and all of you said yes. It was pretty much 100%. I think I did the heart thingy the scale, like slide it over. Everybody was all the way over saying, definitely want to see it. So here it is. So without further ado, let's just get right into the demo and review of the mascara. All right, let's jump right into this demo. Let me see if I can zoom you guys in just a little bit more. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we are doing a demo using a new mascara today that I'm really excited about because I've never tried anything from this brand. This is the Lise Watier V Element Volcanic Minerals Mascara. I unboxed this PR package um, the other day on my Instagram stories and you guys were like, yes, we need a first impressions demo review ASAP. So that is what we're doing today. So let's just jump in and see what this is all about. Oh, my mirror. Okay, there we go. Alrighty, so the wand is like decently sized. It's not bad, it looks like a good size. No strong smell, so that's good. Let's just see Ooh. what this mascara can do for us. I don't have any top liner on or anything like that. I have like a very, very minimal kind of eyeshadow look going on. So let's just get some mascara on these lashes. I'm, I'm getting a little messy. Um, yeah, I'm finding I really have to go in quite a, quite a bit for this one coat. I feel like it's making my lashes long, but it's really not making them thick, which is something that I like to have in my mascaras, but, um, okay. So this is one coat of mascara on this eye here and nothing on this one. I don't have any bottom mascara on, but so as of right now, the first coat gave a lot of length, but not a lot of volume or thickness, which is what I really, really like in mascara. So um, let's just see here what it says. So it says it has, the Volcanic Minerals Mascara has explosive volumizing power with a fortifying formula of calcium, magnesium, zinc, copper, and silica silica that helps to revitalize and protect lashes from external aggressors so that's kind of cool the second part of that the fact that it's going to protect my lashes from external aggressors which i'm guessing is pollution in the air and that kind of stuff um but the first part about it being like explosively volumizing is just totally not what i'm seeing off that first coat um let's just go ahead and add another coat and see if anything like drastically changes. Two coats of mascara on that eye. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of bottom lash. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of bottom mascara to this eye's lashes so that we can kind of talk about it. Um, the wand is a little bit big so I have to be a little careful here. All right, so this eye here now has top and bottom mascara on two coats on the top and one coat on the bottom. One coat is usually all I do on the bottom lashes. I've never ever gone in with two coats. I just don't don't see it being necessary for my lashes personally. So I won't go in any further than that. I actually love the way the bottom lashes look. I don't love the way the top lashes look. I just feel like I've seen my lashes look a lot longer and a lot thicker um, with other mascaras. Not totally buying the whole volumizing aspect of this mascara, but it is drying quite nicely and the bottom lashes look really, really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this eye here and then see how it looks complete and then give some final thoughts. So I'm really trying to emphasize the mascara at the bed of my lash line because that's where like if you really get that part looking thick then the rest of your lashes will kind of follow suit 
I know there's one trick of kind of like putting mascara on both sides of your lashes, but honestly, like, I've never had success with that. I always find it me leaves my lashes looking really clumpy. Okay, so for whatever reason, I had a lot, like, these lashes look a hell of a lot better than these ones. For whatever reason. I'm just going to go ahead and do the bottom. I'm just going to take a quick brush over to get rid of any of the mess that I created. Um, just so you guys know, if you do do that, just wait until your mascara is dry and then take a blending brush, the same one that you used if you're wearing eyeshadow, and just kind of brush it away and you'll be good. You could also take a Q-tip. This is what my eyelashes are looking like now with two coats on the top, one coat on the bottom. I do find that this eye looks a lot better than this one. Um, like my lashes just look so much longer on this one. If you are somebody who's th struggling with thickness, one quick hack, I guess, um, for lash thickness, if you are looking to kind of make it look more prominent, the thickness of your lash, just add a little bit of top liner to your lashes. It does not have to be a wing liner, just a little bit of top, so it really makes your lashes look a lot darker and a lot thicker. Um, so that's probably what I would do with this one. I don't know if you guys can tell, like, I've, I've just, these lashes are kind of clumping and sticking together, which is just not... Nope, not loving that. Ah! There we go. Okay. Back in the game. I'm actually going to do this to this side too. Okay, there we go. I just took a spoolie and ran it through my lashes, and that helped a lot with the stickiness. So this lash... This mascara is super sticky, so it kind of makes your lashes go in whatever way you move your wand with, which is a pro and a con. So it's a pro in the sense that if you curl your lashes, you can really get that curl going, which I barely ever curl my lashes. It's just one of my really, really bad habits. So I firmly believe if you were to curl your lashes, you'd have a lot more volume. And But the con of it is that if you don't, or if you move your wand wrong or whatever, you might have some situations with your lashes, which just occurred to me. Using the spoolie to kind of wiggle them out, like with nothing, no mascara on or anything like that, really did help uh, kind of sort that out. But just so you guys can see, now the mascara is on both of my eyes, two coats on the top and one coat on the bottom as usual. And honestly, like, it didn't add that much thickness to my lashes, but it did give quite a bit of length, and I'm really liking the way the bottom lashes are looking. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop on a lip and finish the rest of my makeup, and then hop back on camera and talk about my final thoughts on the mascara, a little bit about the formula, and of course, the price. So, be right back. A little bit further thoughts on this mascara is that I actually do like it. It's definitely more of an everyday kind of mascara than a going out type of mascara, so it doesn't make my lashes look really really dramatic like false lash status but it is extremely comfortable to wear like you know when sometimes mascaras are super uncomfortable to the point where you feel like your lashes are just gonna snap off but they look so good this isn't like that. This mascara definitely doesn't make your lashes look like false lashes, but it does give quite a bit of length. I really love the way that it looks on the bottom lashes. As for the actual packaging, I like the packaging. It's just a regular size mascara tube. Nothing crazy about it, but it's nice and silver. It kind of has that kind of platinum silver vibe to it. I actually personally love these sizes of wands. I would say that this is like a medium full size wand. It's just a regular wand. There's nothing crazy to it, like the shape. And it's just easy to maneuver on top and bottom lashes. So you don't have to use two mascaras, one for top or one for bottom. This one really does work for both. So the description of the mascara is where I kind of like have a little bit of a with because I do find, you know, yeah, it gives length, but I don't find it overly volumizing or thickening, which is exactly what the description says about the mascara. I do think it is a good mascara. I just think that there is a kind of a disconnect there and maybe I'm using it wrong or maybe it's just not for my lashes, but I really do like it for more of a natural kind of everyday look. Just so you guys know, this mascara is not waterproof. I am interested to know if it does have a waterproof version. That would be really cool if they did have a waterproof version to this mascara, just because I think that this would be a very great like everyday summer mascara outdoors because the combination of the ingredients actually fight external aggressors from harming your lashes so I do think that's pretty neat because I've never never seen that before in any other mascara that I've reviewed here or used 
here on my channel. So that is definitely very cool. One of the main external aggressors that I can think of is definitely the pollution in the air. That is extremely harmful to us and we don't even realize it. That's why it's very important to wash your face, even if you're not wearing makeup, just so you guys know. Anyways, uh, overall, I do really like this mascara. It does go for $27, which I think is a fair price. I know Lise Watier is a little bit more um, high-end than drugstores, so that's pretty neat. This is my first time ever trying a product from them, and so far I'm pretty impressed. Um, I like the packaging a lot. I like the vibe. It's very chic, so pretty cool. I'll have the link below if you guys do want to check it out further, but otherwise, I definitely give this a one thumbs up, not a two but a one thumbs up mascara, great for every day, great for kind of a more natural look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this very quick, I feel like it's been a very quick video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe. And of course, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.